Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at a deck of cards from Chris Angel. Now, I believe this is the second edition, second volume, second printing of the Baroque playing cards. Now, a while back, I think when Chris Angel's cards first came out, they were the Mind Freak cards. They were the yellow and orange backed cards with the Chris Angel like haunting eyes. And uh, if you ever picked up a deck of those, uh, they were garbage, right? They were, they were, they were junk. Uh, they were printed in China, they were paper thin, they stuck together, they clumped, they were pretty much useless. My son has a couple of those decks, but they're awful. Uh, after that, Chris printed the Baroque series, which was this, this pattern back design. Uh, they came in white, they came in black, they're still available on his website, I believe, and they were made by the United States Playing Card Company, and I did hear from people that had purchased them that they were really good, that they handled really well. I think the only place you could get them was online, so that's why I never picked these up. I found this at a drugstore thinking that it was maybe a new printing of the Baroque series because it is the same back design like I said, however these are printed in China as well. The front of the tech case says Chris Angel, has Chris Angel's uh, logo there and playing cards and then this is a uh, C and an A for Chris Angel. It does say that it comes with a little URL so that you can get uh, a PDF of a bunch of different card tricks. The side says Chris Angel playing cards, as does the other side. The bottom tells you that they are printed in China, and the top has a custom Chris Angel tech seal. The back design of the tech case is, of course, the back design of the cards, and that is pretty much it for the tech case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said, these cards are printed in China. They are a little better than your average typical China deck. Uh, they have a linen finish to them. They do have a linen finish to them, so the cards do glide, which is an improvement over the Mind Freak cards. They don't clump together. I could see, you know, if you were a magician, you could use these uh, for, for cards. I don't know that they would work as well for cardistry because uh, of just how uh, kind of warpy they feel. Uh, the back design is the double CA logo, Chris Angel logo, with just a bunch of flowery uh, borders and uh, you know, arc designs here in the corners, and you got the little Chris Angel uh, hidden logos there and there. It is a two-way back design, and so that makes it uh, good for playing cards and for magic. Uh, I, I found these in black. Like I said earlier, the original Broke version ones, they are available in black and white, so I have not seen these in white, so if you have, uh, let us know. With this deck, you're gonna get your secret code card that lets you in on uh, your download so that you can get your magic tricks. And you're gonna get two original jokers, which again is the double CA, it's the Chris Angel logo. Your ace of spades is very attractive. It's a bowl with wings uh, with, a, with a wheel pattern there in the center and a nice big exploded pip with the vine work on the edges. Your pips and indice cards are all completely standard, easily recognizable, traditional layout, Traditional colors, traditional, traditional, traditional. The court cards have a more older uh, feel to them. They almost look like Arco courts, but they're not exactly Arco courts. They do have like a little bit of a different coloring to them. Uh, and so it kind of makes uh, them stand out and be a little bit more unique. Other than that, there isn't really anything else to this deck. There's no other bells or whistles. And so that is pretty much it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you wanna follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy.